Welcome everyone to our Greenhouse Effect lesson. Let's start off by setting up our lesson's objectives. First, we're going to try to figure out what is the Greenhouse Effect. Second objective would be what causes the Greenhouse Effect. And finally, on Earth, is the Greenhouse Effect a desirable or undesirable phenomenon? So let's start off with a little introduction. We have our friend here, Sam. Sam's driving a nice little car. And he's going to see his friend Jasmine. He's enjoying a really nice summer day with his roofless car. And he's going to park his car right next to Jasmine's. And let's just leave those two along in the house to do whatever they want to do. Let's focus our attention on those cars. As you can see, Jasmine's car has a roof and has closed windows, whereas Sam's cars, well, doesn't have any windows. So, what's going to happen? In which car will it be warmer? And more importantly, why? Let's start with Jasmine's car. Sun rays are going to be going through the window and then normally some of some of it should be reflected back but since the windows are closed a lot of the heat is going to be trapped inside and therefore the temperature is going to go up if we look at Sam's car sun rays are also going in but of course, some of them will be absorbed, but they, there's plenty of room for those rays to escape. There is no roof, and there are no closed windows. And therefore, the temperature in Sam's car is not going to be as high. So what is the greenhouse effect? Well, let's start off with the first definition from our introduction with those cars. We could say that part of the solar energy is absorbed by the car. When the windows of a car are closed, the heat is trapped and the temperature increases. When there are no windows, some of the heat can escape and the temperature will not rise as much. So let's talk now about the greenhouse effect on Earth. Will we have the same phenomenon as Jasmine's car with a roof and closed windows or will we have the same effect as Sam's car with the windows open, or no windows, I should say. Let's start off with the first hypothesis. First hypothesis would be, well, it's, it's just like Sam's car. There are no windows and there's no roof. Well, in that case, that would mean that some of the sun's energy would be absorbed by the, the Earth, but a lot of it would be reflected back in outer space. You know what? The Earth's average temperature without any greenhouse effect would be minus 18 degrees Celsius. That's pretty cold. Let's look at the second hypothesis, which is Jasmine's car. Well, in this case, the Earth would need a roof and closed windows, right? So, there it is. It's called the atmosphere. With the atmosphere, some of, the, some of the rays will be absorbed by the planet. Some of them will be reflected back into outer space. But if you look at the different arrows here, a lot of them are, a lot of the heat is going to be trapped and remain next to the Earth. And that's the reason why that with the atmosphere, the Earth's average temperature with the greenhouse effect is plus 15 degrees. So, I guess the answer, therefore, is hypothesis 2 is correct. The greenhouse effect on Earth exists because of its atmosphere. We do have windows and closed windows. The Earth's average temperature without atmosphere 
would be eight, minus 18 degrees, but with the atmosphere, it's a nice plus 15 degrees. And as you know, life on Earth requires liquid water. And at minus 18 degrees, water is in a solid state. It's ice. Whereas plus 15 is just right. Water would be liquid. So it's a good thing that we have a bit of greenhouse effect and we have an atmosphere. So let's look at the second definition, this time for the Earth. Well, some of the solar energy is absorbed by the Earth. Some of it is reflected back in outer space. But part of the heat is also trapped by the atmosphere and makes the temperature rise. If there were no atmosphere, the Earth's temperature would be much lower. All right, now... What causes the greenhouse effect on Earth? Well, we saw that it was the atmosphere. There it is. But what elements of the atmosphere will trap the heat? Let's see. There are what we call greenhouse gases. And these are part of our atmosphere. So what are those main greenhouse gases on Earth? First is water vapor, plain old simple H2O. We've got carbon dioxide, CO2. We've got methane, CH4, and nitrogen dioxide, NO2. These are the main four greenhouse gases. So those greenhouse gases present in our atmosphere will contribute to the greenhouse effect on Earth. It's a little bit like the windows and the roof of Jasmine's car. It's as though the earth has a roof and different windows all around it. And it's those gases that will trap the heat. Now, the last objective that we have is on earth, is the greenhouse effect a desirable or undesirable effect? Let's find out. We said that without any greenhouse effect, the Earth's average temperature would be minus 18 degrees Celsius. Pretty cold. And with the greenhouse effect, it's a nice plus 15 degrees. Well, we can therefore say that on Earth, without any greenhouse effect, life would be Life on Earth might not be possible because the temperature would be too low. So it is somewhat of a desirable effect. We want some greenhouse effect. So let's now summarize what we've seen in this lesson. First, the greenhouse effect is a natural phenomenon that traps the heat. Second, the greenhouse effect exists on Earth because of the atmosphere and certain gases such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrogen dioxide. And lastly, we said that without any greenhouse effect, life on Earth would be difficult because it would be much colder. Now, what is to come for the next lesson? We said that the greenhouse effect is a desirable phenomenon, but what happens when there are more and more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere? What is, is that a good thing? Where do these greenhouse gases come from? And finally, what is global warming? And what are the consequences? In other words, yes, some greenhouse effect is desirable, but maybe too much greenhouse gases and too much greenhouse effect would not. So what is to come? Well, we're going to try to find out where does the surplus of greenhouse gases come from? And what is that global warming? Oh, and there's Sam again. He's leaving and he's going back home. And I guess he's giving us a little hint as to where the surplus of greenhouse gases come from. There it is. That's a good hint. Thank you, Sam. And see you next time for the, sec for the next lesson.